The video that was published a day back featured a tutorial about Final Cut Pro tips. At the end of the video you were asked if you had noticed anything different and explained that the presenter and voiceover in the video was AI generated. Did you notice anything different? The image of the presenter and spoken words were all created with AI. I just produced the script. I promised I would show how that last video was created. I used a web-based service called Vidnaz which not only generates the voiceover but also uses an avatar as the visual presenter. If you're uneasy in front of a camera, then this is for you. All you need to do is write the script and add it to Vidnaz. No need for a green screen or what's in the background of your room. No need to purchase a fancy microphone. No need to replace that fuzzy webcam. No need to invest in a teleprompter so that you don't have to memorize your script and still be able to look directly at the camera. No lengthy editing to cut out all your second takes and mispronounced words. No need to worry about what clothes you are wearing. The link to the Vidnaz site is in the description below. Just so you know the difference this is the real Bruce filmed with a green screen and using one the backgrounds that you will see in the review of Vidnaz. My name's Bruce, and if we've met before, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell so that I can make more videos like this for you. And now I'll take over for the rest of this review, I'm Mason with Christopher's voiceover. You now know that the last video's presentation was recorded with Vidnaz using an avatar and voiceover and this is how it was produced for Bruce's YouTube channel. Here is a short sample of the last video. Next you need to collect all your sound effects. Collect all the SFX on your computer into one folder and don't fret about not getting them all, as you can easily add others later and Final Cut Pro will get updated. So how was it created? Let's have a look at the Vidnaz interface again. First let's look at the available templates. They mostly are multi-page templates with animations ready for you to use. I'll click on this website guide template. It has some sample words to explain the use of the template. Welcome to this making guide video template. This video is mainly to teach you how to make You can use any template and make it your own. Notice in this one there are 8 pages as shown in the left sidebar. When you start your free trial you will be able to look at the 200 plus available templates in more detail for one that exactly suits your needs. Now let's look at the My Creations tab which shows projects that you have created. These are the few I have started producing. I'll select this Senior Car Sales project. I have also made some changes to a copy of this same template. First I'll show you the unaltered original which has four different pages. I'll play the first page by pressing the play button on the bottom right. Welcome to using this Senior Car Sale Promotion video template. This template allows you to easily create a high-end car brand video. Let's play the second page. Introduce your company's first core car model and compare its competitive prices. Now the third page. Introduce your company's second core car model and compare its competitive prices. I'll now show you the copy that I have altered to suit this video review. I'll go back to My Creations and select the copied project and play. The project template, voice and avatar should look familiar to you as they are the same as what you are watching now. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? This is what you can do in the Pick My Brain module. 1. Fix your immediate issues. 2. Request an action plan for suggestions of subjects you should know about Final Cut Pro. You can select from over 100 voices. I'll change to Australian Tim and play. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? I'll try a different voice, how about Christopher? You can see there is a choice of changing the voice as a batch change for all your projects. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? Next some comments about how to use the text in Vidnaz. I'd like to make an observation to say that the voiceover script needs to be carefully phrased as to avoid any robotic sounding phraseology. You need to make sure that sentences stay intact in a paragraph, otherwise you could get this effect. Let's say I want the words to read as, Final Cut Pro is my software of choice. 
If the pro gets moved to another line after the words final cut, the voiceover will sound like this. Final cut. Pro is my software of choice. A couple of other tips, don't have double spaces between words. You will get this effect if there are two spaces between final and cut. Final, cut pro is my software of choice. Be careful where you place commas, they will change the meaning of sentences. Also, there seems to be no method of emphasizing words or phrases. I tried typing words uppercase, but it does not make any difference. You can make changes after you have added your text to the description field at the bottom of the Vidnas interface. You can make the appropriate adjustments before you regenerate the project. I heavily recommend that you play the whole script several times in the Vidnas preview mode before you commit to generate. Other than those recommendations above, I truly recommend Vidnas as an alternative to recording your own image with your own voiceover. If you are not happy with the AI voiceover you can upload your own voice and the avatar will appear to be speaking, your words, that's amazing. Let's get on with the review of Vidnas, and go back to, my creations, and I'll show you the features available to modify a template, or build one from scratch if you wish. I've picked a project that I started from scratch. I can change the background to a preset supplied by Vidnas or upload my own images. Click on the background tab. Let's select this building interior. I can remove already added text or add text in three styles. Title, subtitle and paragraph. I can add shapes. Change the color. Change the layer position. Resize shapes. As well as move them to different positions, plus change opacity. Next I can select any object, the text in this case, and apply an animation effect. I'll select, fade in from the bottom. Also I'll have the purple bar, slide in from the top. Let's play that. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? You can also use the preview button at the top of the window that will render the project quicker but show a smaller preview. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? You can select from over 100 avatars. I'll select Adam Sports. The position of the avatar can be moved. The background can be changed to one that I have uploaded. Let's have a look at some more avatars. I'll select Oliver this time, but remember we asked all the voices to be Christopher. That could be changed but I'm happy with the Christopher voice so I'll leave it unchanged. The avatar can be moved to be behind or in front of text and shapes. The layers can be adjusted at will. You can add stickers for subscribe or sale and many more. You can also add images from the supported stock image websites at no extra charge. Closed captions or subtitles are an important part of social media so of course Vidnas offers subtitles by clicking button at the bottom of the interface. Let's play that. I use Vidnas for my avatar videos. Would you like the benefit of over 20 years of Final Cut Pro experience? You can also change how the avatar appears by selecting him, then clicking square head so no hands show, or clicking circle head. Then there is the background music to think about. 
the music tab is at the top. I prefer not to have music so I turn it off with this switch. But if you did want music then these are some tracks that you could pick. Or pick a genre. Finally you can press generate. The video that was published a day back featured a tutorial about Final Cut Pro tips. When completed you'll be able to download the project to your downloads folder. I am pleased to say that this video has been created with Vidnas. The avatar is Mason Teacher and the voice is Christopher. I suggest you set up a trial of the software, the link to the Vidnas website is in the description below. As always, if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and press the bell as I will be using the avatars and AI voice over in more of my videos. They are such a time saver.